video is going to go through how to do transactions in Masterpiece version 11. When you log into your profile, you have your menu on the left. Under the cells menu, there's two options, new transaction and transaction list. The new transaction opens up the transaction screen where you can go ahead and get started. The transaction list shows you basically your whole list of transactions. Notice how uh, a transaction in red are items that are sold and black are just regular ones. There's also the column where you can see return no and yes. You can also sort, search, and filter from here. So let's say I wanted to sort by uh, artist. Just click on artist and then put in alphabetical order. Same with all of these columns. You can also click the magnifying glass and you have some options on, to, on searching transactions, maybe by artist, title, uh, sell and date, anything up here. To do a new transaction, just click on new transaction or click the add button. That opens up the new transaction screen. Your defaults come in, your company location, um, as you can see here, I have a lot. Um, you also have your default tax type. This is set in your staff menu the options. So uh, if you want your uh, default tax to be, uh, let's say local, you'll just choose that in your tax setup. Your date and time defaults to today's date, although you can click on it and backdate it if need be. Your cell type is just depending on what cell it is. If you do a quote and say new quote or new approval or new return. So this is set automatically. So your options are your three tabs, your invoice, your payments, and your staff. On your invoice, you have your customer and then your item. Uh, if you're entering a customer that already exists in your contact database, just type in the first couple letters of the first or last name and the information comes in automatically. You can also edit some information directly here. If it's a new contact, just start typing in the uh, contact name and when you save the transaction that information is automatically added to the contact database. Okay so adding items is uh, basically you'll just put in a couple letters of the title and a drop down will appear. You can do a couple letters of the title, the scan code, or the artist. Let's say I type in Wallace. Once you select the item hit add item and all the information comes in. From here, you can offer a discount. So let's say that um, uh, or you can offer a discount either by putting in the price now or the discount percentage. Let's say I put in uh, 80 for the price now, it figures out the percentage. If I put in just the percentage, it figures out the price now. Um, you can also have line item tax. So let's say that uh, you have three items, two of them are local tax and one of them is tax free for whatever reason. Uh, this would be what this tax drop down is for. Um, although most of the time this will always stay the same as your main tax type, so I wouldn't mess with this one unless it's different than all the others. This is a limited edition, so I'm going to select my edition number. And then basically you'll just repeat the process for every new item. Uh, let's say I'm going to add shipping to this item. Now this is a non-stock item, so this is the only one that I could basically change the retail price on is non-stock items. If the item that you want to sell is not in your inventory database, there's a quick sell where you can click on the quick item, put in the title here, and then put in the price. And the masterpiece will add this to your database as a sold record where you can then go and add some more information such as who's the vendor, maybe a picture and all that kind of stuff and dimensions. Okay, so in the lower right you have your subtotal tax and total information around here. You can also put in notes. Uh, you might want to put in notes about the contact, which will then carry over to the contact database. Uh, transaction notes will appear on the receipts, whatever you put here. Um, next step is payments. This is how you record how the customer paid you. So first step would be to hit the add payment button. And let's say that the customer is going to give you, uh, uh, he's going to ask you to put in $100 on his Visa card. And you'd put in the information such as card number if you want, expiration date, uh, CVV number, hit save. And then the rest he's going to put on, uh, he's going to give you $200 cash. So I'll just put 200 here and then save. Now notice how Masterpiece knew that it was over the amount that he owed, so it told you you owe him $3.59 in uh, a change. Uh, so basically that's that, and then the staff will automatically default to whatever you're logged in as, but you could also change the staff uh, with the with the drop down. When you're done, just hit save and close or save first, 
and then you can go ahead and print off a receipt.